Welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Uh, I'm joined by a couple of really good friends of mine, Shazella and Singuru. Me and Sin have been playing a game for many, many years now. What, five years, Sin? And yeah, uh, Shazella is uh, also a uh, streamer on Twitch. And we've just got done uh, with our 24-hour live stream for the Extra Life event. And they absolutely smashed it, didn't they, Shaz? Absolutely. It was... I'm blown away. <laughs> I mean, we managed to jointly raise, it was a $450 total and um, was really, really surprised to get as far as we did with that. And we can't thank everybody enough who popped in and kept us going for that length of time. And uh, yeah, it was just, a, I'm really proud to have been part of that. So thank you for um, doing that with me, Shaz. I really had a good time. I, I did too. Thank you so much for having me with you. And like huge thanks to everyone, who, like you said, who kept us going. Some of them were there almost that full 24 hours with the both of us. Oh, no. Like absolutely mad. Thank you so much. No. Yeah. And well, because because we were both streaming for the 24 hours, we're just sort of catching up with all of the exciting news from Genesis 2. So we're just going to have a chat about everything that we've seen and uh, all of the new stuff that's coming out that we can look forward to next year, which is, they're saying around March, but it'll probably be about uh, summertime, won't it, Sin? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. So we're going to talk about uh, probably the most exciting creature. I think everybody's probably going to be wanting to tame this one, Shadow Main. And it's, from what I can gather, it's got a, um, it's got two buffs. It's going to need a male and a female and uh, it's also got a cloaking ability. It looks like the female's got the ability to do the cloaking. And uh, the male has got an ability to buff. And uh, both of them are going to be used in combination. But uh, what are your thoughts on this? What, what do you think of the concept art so far and what we've seen? I love the concept art. I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> and I really can't wait to, to get into them and like have a whole pack of them, to be honest. Yeah, pack a pack bonus with them. That what would be pretty thinking? cool. Well, I mean, the, the concept art is, as always, spot on. But the mm -hmm. question is, what kind of buff are we looking at? Are we looking at the new Mammoth buff, or are we looking at the, the UD buff? Um, yeah. Well, I'm thinking, like, is it going to be like the Pack Wolf, you know? Well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, because it seems like every time wildcard are introducing a new dlc they're going to introduce some sort of new mechanic that is way more complicated than the previous ones yeah um so i mean that that kind of came became very clear in in genesis part one mm -hmm. so i mean it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see looking at the back of it there it looks like it's kind of got uh, fish scales or something at the back and um I mean, there's always that one creature on the map with every DLC that everybody wants to grab, isn't there? And uh, I'm certainly feeling really excited for this one. Perhaps oh, for sure. a Philo Collio killer, perhaps. Oh. I reckon it might be trumping that one. It'd be interesting to see. It's like, especially with its mobility, it says that they've got the ability to dash which does like damage to everything through that dash. So it'll be interesting to see how that competes with the Thyla's mobility. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They were talking about the male having the dash ability to be able to hit multiple targets and the female having the ability to cloak. Right. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works. But, but if, if we're looking at our current dinos in the game, the rock mm -hmm. Drake, that dash there, I mean, that's not really damaging anything. So it's going to be something new completely. So I don't think it's going to be used as a, you know, mobility move, if that makes sense. The rock drag yeah. is a, th that dash is a mobility move. But if you look at the pteranodons on, on vanilla pteranodons, like the, the barrel roll there, that's not for mobility. That's straight up combat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, if they've point. taken that concept there and put it onto this, well, I don't know, let's call it a sea cat, then, you know, that, <laughs> Definitely, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's basically what we're getting there then. 
it's got the head of a lionfish, hasn't it, with the scales at the back there? Yeah. I've got I've got a I've got another shot actually I can bring up of it. Um which is a bit more detailed y. Um that, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I'm really looking forward to the canoe though. The canoe, we'll get to the canoe in a second. That's that's the shot yeah. um, from in game. I mean definite aberration vibes there straight away, isn't it really? It really right, does but, have like a, a quality, like like you said, like a lionfish. There is a lot of aquatic qualities to it. So is it yeah. going to be a semi-aquatic creature? Well, this is this is the the first teaser art. We haven't. I've got a shot of that. But uh, we were all looking at the never-ending story for the face of this creature that was on the face of the cover. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And uh, now they've got the whole reveal for this creature. But out of everything that's been announced so far, this one, I think, I feel everybody's going to be most excited about this creature, the Shadow Mane, right, the but Shadow Mare. If, 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 if you look at, you know, like you said, it has abrasion uh, vibe over it. Mm -hmm. It kind of just shows, you know, if you look at the, if you look at the, um, the biome it's in right there, yeah. that's abrasion. It, it is well, yeah, not on, you parts. know on the on the spaceship, obviously, but but which bot, boss did we fight on abrasion? That was Rockwell. So this is his domain right there. We're gonna get like if you want that kitty, you're gonna get well. Let's just say you're gonna get quacked there. Definitely. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm well, not, I mean. So um, right. so yeah, but, I mean that's that's basically what I'm what I'm seeing here. It's gonna be it's gonna be ah, it's gonna be such a challenge. Right. Well, uh, we well, saw it. What? Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, Jess. I'm sorry. Um, like, well, we saw it in part one with Genesis. There were some creatures that were like pretty easy to tame compared to others, and those ones that were the most difficult to find and the most difficult and challenging biomes ended up being the ones that were most rewarding and amazing to to use and were sought after so it it makes sense it's going to follow the same pattern with it mm -hmm. well i mean I, I'll, I'll be honest genesis part one was not uh, my favorite dlc by a long shot <laughs> and um what they have said is that this is going to be the biggest map they've ever released, including all of the Steam Workshop stuff that's come out. I mean, I don't know if they're going to be call including Valhalla in that, because <laughs> that was just giant, that map, wasn't it? But, um, and the missions as well, oh, they've, right. they've confirmed they get, there is going to be missions, but it's not going to work like Genesis. You will be ported into another area to be able to do mission ideas. Mm-hmm. So can, can you can you pull up the spaceship? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's move on to what the spaceship looks like now. Um, I'll come back to that one. Yeah, just just a quick because okay. I have I have. So basically, we're we're looking at the biomes. That's the middle rings there in the middle. Obviously, I'm sitting here pointing at my screen, and you guys can see this. Um, <laughs> but but I mean the if if we're able to move everywhere in those two, uh, two rings mm. that's gonna be huge in itself but then if if we're gonna be ported to other places like they, they there's a huge well um part in in the front end <laughs> and there's a huge part in the well opposite end yeah. i don't know how yeah. to say this i'm not native english and you guys know this there's a language barrier um, so, so that means the entirety of the ship will be, um, well, you know, usable. Plus, if I remember correctly, in the, in the trailer, uh, at the end where, where, we're kind of, I don't remember if it's in the end. Anyways, we're, zo we're, the we're zooming out of the spaceship to see the spaceship in total. Yeah. That's actually from one of the pointy bajiggies there in the middle that's ne next to the rings mm -hmm. so yeah but that's not in the biomes itself no um in fact i can just go through the concept art that we've got for the biome because the, the vibe i'm getting is maybe this whole ring slowly changes you know in terms of the biome so um 
they've confirmed that the so this is the this is the end biome that we're looking at i'm going to assume because we've got what looks like rockwell's eyes here um taking over a part of the ship so this looks like it could be a whole I don't know whether it'd be a boss arena, but this whole environment looks like um, this was what was at, at the end of that trailer, this concept out here. Yeah. I mean, that would explain the spores. So base, I mean, that could be like the um, Ascension Cave. Mm. So you oh, have to fight yeah. your way. Yeah. You have to fight your way through this shit. Then you have to, I don't know. That'd be good. That'd be throw, really good. Throw, throw some shit at Rockwell and then that's it. Mm. But it's okay. just you know if if you're thinking about it, James, you and I, we've been talking about Ark Two for quite some time now. But I mean, this this ending, the the potential ending for Ark um, Genesis Part Two, it it just leaves so much open for Ark Two. You know, where did where did the element come from originally? Well, because, yeah, yeah. Not, not only that, like, how did we get from the arcs that we're on now to the simulation? Like, where, where's the transition in that? But also, you know, yeah. it, they could be super cheesy about it and just be like, hey, Rockwell's back in Arc 2, surprise, I mean, quack. Um, and, you know, <laughs> then, <laughs> then you have a whole new <laughs> game right there. Well... I'm sorry, no, I got really excited. <laughs> no, no, I mean, that sounds... I mean, I, I like the speculation. I like the speculation. Um, but I'll go through what I think is going to be the start of Biome. Um, if, I can, if I can just pull up that picture. Because I'm getting the feeling that they're looking at, like, uh, extinction in terms of having this city in the middle of the Biome where, we, where, where we'll all be, where the, the starter zone... So like a sanctuary, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's the vibe I'm I'm getting here with what they're what they're doing, and then pray, perhaps as you go out in these rings, the further that you go out, perhaps the more the corruption starts creeping in. Mm. But this looks like it could be the the starter sort of safe zone, if I had to guess myself. So what you're saying here is. We we fire up the game. We spawn in first time ever. You have the spawn list on the right side. It will say sanctuary easy. You spawn in and you're just gonna get fucked completely, just like in Genesis. Like in Genesis, when yeah. they sent yeah. you to the swamp as the, the easy swamp. to start from. <laughs> swamp easy. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Could it? Could well? It could well be. Um, I mean, yeah, although, it I could mean, definitely it worked be well extinction. in extinction. Very well, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but there was also a shield there from the medias, and there was the enforcers and the um, uh, whatever the they were called uh, against the uh, against the corruptions. Um, so, but yeah. Hmm. So that could be interesting. Like you brought up extinction, the enforcers and the defense units. Um, like what's going to be defending this area, and is it? the defense of that area possibly going to be hostile against us since Rockwell is against us. Yeah, but that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Like kind of roles yeah. reverse where we feel le even less safe than we did in Sanctuary on Extinction. This was another biome concept looking very aberration-y. I got so excited when I saw this biome concept. It's got everything that I absolutely adore in a biome. It's got like this water aspect it's got gorgeous trees and foliage it's got this kind of mysterious aura to it um it's colorful so it it really appeals to me aesthetically yeah yeah i mean i don't know i believe you've mentioned in the past saying that aberration was your favorite in terms of looks oh 100 percent. like that map mm -hmm. was so gorgeous i mean quack gorgeous the, the like the caves um down when you go past the the um well the, the radiation area and all that it is i mean it's phenomenal mm. it really is stunning i'm looking forward to getting part through to it when i get in my playthrough as well i feel aberration is the one map that i didn't give enough time to i'm looking forward to getting getting back into it again as well before 
um, Genesis 2 comes out, but I'm very excited that it's got this, this uh, alien-looking biome as well. So um, one of the interesting points as well is that we are all going to be spawning in with a Federation tech suit from uh, level one tech is going to be available right but i think oh, i'm sorry for kind of interrupting here the federation part that's really because what does that like what does that mean to you guys well um at the end of part one genesis part one we did get to see the tech suit didn't we at the end of the the cut scene there that's yeah. what, what yeah. she pulls out um but yeah what does it well go for it Shaz. man there have been a few thoughts that i've had um like it, you know you're starting out level one and you've got a tech suit but is it going to be limited like is it going to be like a full tech suit like we have now where we've got the jet packs and the propulsion and the fall and the the glove punch and the ability to not have to worry about oxygen like is it going to be all those things or is it going to be something more like it's a we got some basic um medium to heavy armor and maybe we'll unlock things along the way or it has some minor functionality um just it, a lot of thoughts of how deep are they going to go how extreme are they going to go with what this tech suit is capable yeah. of yeah, I'm definitely fe feeling that, well, there's definitely going to be a variety of um, suits and armor that we can wear. Okay, so while we're on the subject of tech suits as well, they brought out the uh, loadout um, mannequin. So we're going to be able to display all different types of armor as well in here. And just jump into whichever armor you wish. So no more leaving it in, um, in, in your... Uh, loot crates and stuff and losing all your armor here you'll be able to have it all out and display so perhaps have your scuba gear all laid out ready to go if you've got into go into a water biome so i'm i'm, I'm liking that what do you think about this loadout mannequin thing here i love this <laughs> because yeah. if you guys have seen me play you've seen how disorganized i get with my own sets of gear and i have different skins on things and i mix and match sometimes i'll have a mix of desert gear and riot gear i'll have like some a mix of tech and riot gear so like there's like my little personal box of gear is always just an absolute mess so if i can have things set so like i want to go into the desert but i don't want to die or i want my tech suit but i also want a little more armor like it'd be amazing to be able to just like grab and go instead of like spend forever sifting through all of the different armor pieces i have well i know when sin organizes events on the server quite often you've put all of the different types of armor out on display haven't you using using the mods for everybody to look yeah. at and it always really jazzes up a base doesn't it uh the the areas that you do well yeah but um i don't know i think i i may i might be misunderstanding something about this piece of well wood wood board really um because mm -hmm. in my mind it seems like what the what you'll be able to do here is you put one piece of armor in it and then you know this is your this is your i don't know fishing armor and then you run out to it you hit e and then it switches your current outfit and loadout hotbar everything it switches that around with what you have now yeah that's what i'm gathering as well that's to my understanding yeah that would be pretty cool um so I mean, if if that's the case, then you know you you need one for taming, you need one for bosses, you need one for everyday thing, you need one for fishing, you need one for hunting shares. I mean, that's a lot of trophy cases right there, or whatever we want to call them. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm absolutely not bothered by that because you guys know how I like to decorate a base. That just mm. gives me more things to fill a space with so it doesn't feel like i just have a one big empty room with some storage containers and workbenches you know it, it gives me the ability to kind of customize things a bit i'm, I'm i like the idea oh I'm i mean this. I, I i love the idea but i mean and like you can but, have a trophy yeah. hall above it too like no, but, just like my, go ham <laughs> but my my problem is that 
this 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 is one of them things I always say, you know. So wildcard they they focus ninety nine point nine percent on PvP for the game. And that's yeah. just in fact, that's just how it is. This is one of them things where they're trying to do annoying shit in my book um, for the PvE players because I love everything about Ark, but unnecessary mess in my base is not one of them. And this is this is gonna, <laughs> this, I, James. You have seen my bases. It is a, I know. I mean, a quacking platform. Yeah. There, there's no walls. There's no doors. There's no pottery it's, there's no it's nothing, nothing. It's super organized mate it's super yeah organized. And, and and that's what i mean i depending on how they look they mm. will not have a place in my base i will use a crate any day <laughs> 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 this is where it's like it's a true example of like there's two types of players there's sin and then there's chess <laughs> yeah yeah but um, so i mean that's that's the problem i'm having you know jim you you made that um uh, tips and tricks about the RG, like for taming an otter or whatever. I don't remember. Oh but, yeah. But the fact that you highlighted the RG, and that was after the TLC, and I had completely forgot everything about you know them being able to grab anything with the beak because that's not how they were five five and a half what years yeah. ago when when the game com- came out, and we started sweating in this game. Yeah. And that's yeah, what no, I mean. I'm... I am still doing it the old school way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, that's a tip a lot of people um, kind of forget about that that it has now has that grab ability because yeah. you do get set in your ways of um, how things were. And that's um, fair because you guys had a long time of playing that particular style. So yeah. to adjust things, even if it does make it air quote easier, like it may not be easier for you if you're used to be able to just jump in with a crossbow and like grab your fish and take it to an otter like waiting for it to come on shore or grabbing it and not dunking yourself in the water could be a hassle comparatively. Wait, a crossbow? Or a sword, what you know. Yeah, the, I still use a pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, from this I'm kind of just getting Batman Bat Cave, Batman vibes from hey, get bat suit on sort of thing, you know, going into action. And um I'm liking I'm liking the idea about this one. Yeah. We go back to the ship. Yeah, I like the ship. Um, but that's because, you know, that's the ship. Uh, oh, maybe Rockwell is Chris Pratt in, in Passengers. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that, 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 that spiky thing there that's connecting the two rings. Yeah. That was the one I was talking about earlier, you know, where, where we're zooming out from where, where Rockwell is in. So during the open world experience or whatever we want to call that bit, you know, everyday life, we'll, we'll be walking on the inside of the rings, but then for a dungeon, you know, or for when we need to, um, you were talking about missions. I'm slightly nervous about that one. I've got to admit. Right. Um, well, all I've got from that is that missions are still going to be a thing, but there is going to be no blocking anybody on a map. The maps are back to way that the way there was and missions will be entered. Um, Via like, another another method, so it would be taken out of the in-game map. Yeah, so that would be like an like a uh, an instance sort of thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's what fair. that's that's um, that's actually going to be fine as long as it's not going to be as grindy though. Like oh. all you all you can did on Genesis was repeat. Oh, you're changing biome. Let's just repeat what you just did two hundred times over there. I mean, I did that tracking thing. Um, so many times and then when i got to the snow i couldn't even see the footprints in the yeah. snow because yeah. they were the same color of the snow mm-hmm. and i think there was probably what a maximum of six different varieties of mission and dodo basketball so that that, that I, dodo basketball I, though don't play it with friends that you want to keep that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> we got we are pretty violent <laughs> that was i actually quite like the dodo basketball that was a good little game but i suppose that one kind of sat on its own as a as a little thing um it did it was a piece of shit in the space biome though because the the attack drones had infinite aggro in the space biome yeah Yeah. well now we're not talking about the space biome or how we're possibly going to reach things um i'll I'll go on to this next creature oh um the space dolphin 
Okay, so the Astrodolphus, this is the concept art uh, that they've brought forward for this. I think as well, with the tech cover that we were debating about, it looked like it had a tech saddle. Yeah, so definitely. The smaller version of the Astro Whale, or what was that called? The Astrophesis, is it? Is it? Um, Astrocedus. Well, just call it a space whale, really. The space whale. Um, so perhaps this is how you're going to be able to get across to Rockwell. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Well, um, in that case, you know, there's going to be a problem because on on Genesis you got the uh, the tech saddle, so the saddle for the space whale for defeating the uh, Rockwell on Beta, I think it was the master um, Yeah, well, that was yeah. Rockwell. Um, spoiler alert for people who hasn't, you know, finished Genesis by now. Her, <laughs> um, but um, but if that's the case here, then you know you can't really you can't really get the blueprint for defeating the bosses if you can't get to the boss. You know, well, this has been revealed as a faster way to get across um, this uh, the the ship the uh, Astrodolphus has. So it sounds like it, it's going to be because, like, the way I understood it with the um, the space whale, I haven't gone out and tamed them personally myself. I I still have issues with the lunar biome. We we don't discuss them. <laughs> so <laughs> my understanding is like you really you have to get into at least the gamma master controller fight, unlock the skiff. And then utilize that skiff to tame it, but you still need another master controller fight for the saddle for them. So that's a yeah. lot of steps to be able to utilize those. I I would hope that being that these are smaller and seeming to be a more important part of the map, that it wouldn't be that complex to be able to tame and utilize. And on top of which, as well, you've probably got to do about 60-odd missions in the bog biome to actually unlock the hazmat suit to be able to go out into the thing for the first time because you the, the Ingram wasn't unlocked unless you've got unlock auto Ingrams as well. Oh. So... Um, that was that was a problem. I ended up with plenty of. Um, I never really managed to get a full set of hazmat stuff to be able to go into that biome to begin with, with the amount of missions you had to grind for it. So well, basically, yeah, but, you they, were like bouncing between the shadows while yeah. you were out there. Oh yeah. man! Yeah, but see, that's that's the thing. They had they'd made it so you could still survive there. It was yeah. harder, but you could still survive there. Between and, the shadows. Yeah, exactly, and. I mean, again, that's just that's the that's the thing they do with it with everything. They kind of like choose your difficulty. Look, well, yeah, but I mean, look mm -hmm. at the ice cave on, on the island, the first original map. Yes, that cave has been upgraded a bit much uh, compared to the rest of everything on the island, but like you can do it in so many ways, and yeah. either way you're gonna do it, it's gonna be a challenge. I really enjoyed the challenge before the cryopods came came in and the methods that people came up with to try and uh, do the artifact of the strong originally. Yeah, that was a that was a great. Ca I love all the caves on the island map. Yeah, so the Astro Dolphus, um, and I'm going to assume that that was what we were looking at. That sort of shot, the concept art of the tech bike looking creature. Yeah. Yeah, that yes. space bike we were looking at. I mean, yeah. either way, though, whether you need this to get to the boss fight or you just, you know, want it at some point, that yeah. tiny quacker right, right there is going to be some of the cutest shit I've ever seen in Ark, probably. I mean, look <laughs> at all and, the potential and, for sparkles off of it. Oh, no, yeah. I, I just, I just want to point out that just introduced the whole insect breeding. If we cannot... Oh, I forgot to check if I can breed my space whales. Point being, if we can't breed those, I'm going to burn Ark to the f ground. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have to start. We'll have to talk about the TLC as well. At, at <laughs> some point. That reminds yeah. me on, on the subject of threatening Ark right now. Where's the f***ing mammoth butts? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just take away a creature's butt and uh, no, expect I mean, it not to notice. <laughs> no, 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 no. We noticed. Just, we just know what update. you did. 
with just for an update on the TLC, Sin is really <laughs> upset because they've removed the mammoth butt and uh, gave it the skin, and he's just not happy with what they've done. And uh, we're thinking about starting a petition to have the the butt replaced. Mm -hmm. um, but trust Sin to be the first one to notice that. Another twenty four hour stream. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, I'll just move on to another, another <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, the healing gun. I am so on board for that one. I don't really care about the rest, you know, because we have means for that. But the healing, heck yeah. Like, healing gun, yes. kill mode, stun mode, a new tech pistol. Interesting, interesting. Uh -huh. I'm really intrigued on this. Is it more PvP or is it, this is going to encourage team teamwork? Well, it depends on how they're gonna how they're gonna use it, really. Because from from my point of view, this looks a lot like the medic gone in a game called Global Agenda back from I don't ten years ago, probably. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, you know, that gun had two stances. It had a, a like a uh, like a hot, like a heal over time, where you shot someone, you could move on to someone else. But it also had a right-click function where you have a constant beam on it. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here, with because uh, you have these two pistons on top of it. Mm -hmm. Now, that yeah. can either be, you know, a two-shot two, whatever two shot ammo clip sort of thing, but it can also be two functions for it. So I'm really, really excited about this part. Yeah. Yeah, I must admit, I'm I, I'm liking the weapons along along with the tech pistol. This one's going to be right up your street because I've watched you pl you play um, Shaz, and you you you're yeah. a great fan of the compound bow, aren't you? I am a huge fan of the compound bow. I'm I'm curious though with the tech pistol. Um, is it going to follow similar with the tech rifle and only require element shards, or will we need yeah. different items for the healing or stun mode? Like, I could easily see it using things like biotoxin and narcotics and whatnot. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. is it going to require additional um, regents to use those different modes? But this is, this is, that's, a, that's a good point. And if we just move on to the, um, the tech bow, oh, obviously man. we're going to be able to switch between different types of ammunition here, tranking ammunition, perhaps fire, arrows, and... Um, is it going to require element to run? So I think on the wiki, it said that it was fueled by actual element. And okay. it, it varied how much element was consumed, depending on what type of arrow that you were using. Interesting. I mean, I, I, can, I can think that I may be switching back to bow. <laughs> I am a huge fan of the compound bow. Like, I know, and I get, I get told all the time that like I'm doing more damage or like maybe people some people don't feel it's as efficient as like a good log neck and shock rifles but just the rate of fire on it and I've always been a big fan of bows in a lot of the previous games that I've played so th the compound bow is just really appealing to me this is amazing like this is really amazing I'm getting I don't know if you remember Dungeons and Dragons with the ranger that was able to pull his bow and he never had to load up the the uh, the arrows and stuff with it. Oh, man. It's a really old show. I'm showing I'm showing how old I am. That... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But um big nostalgia. So, the, so there was there was those two weapons but there's also the third weapon that they showcased here as well. So the third weapon they they showed was the minigun. And again, well, turret. Turret. It is a turret. Yeah, we can yeah. see it at the side here. And um, yeah, again, could set up a few of these in an uh, in an arena or well, see, defense. Is this PvP? Well, see, that's the thing though, because this is a mobile thing. You can carry mm. this on your person. That means you can take it into an arena. Well, potentially, most likely. Well, then again, we know. You know, wild card. We never really know what they're planning, but no. theoretically, you should be able to take this into an arena. You know, have a couple of them on your hot bar, and then just smack that shit down, yeah. and then you can run around. That would be interesting. It like is... it does have an overheat function. So, like when you pointed out having a few, like what was the mining drill? Was that the first thing in Arc to have the overheat function, or yeah. is it something before that? Well, I mean the tech rifle, but true. 
like uh so how long is the is the overheat penalty for this and is it going to cause extra durability damage are they going down well, the route of more pvp with this as well i mean if you think back to the team fortress game how you have the different classes and uh yeah one of them the mechanic could put down these these um these turrets to stop and at turrets to stop entrances and just yeah interesting interesting so that they were the they were the three weapons that we got to take a look at just going to move on to the biome specific creatures now these are hinted at at being a y variant so we had the x variants in genesis part one but a y variant of creature with uh different uh, colors as well so we've got to look at the i mean I, I love some of the x variant creatures are these going to have more levels as well so i would hope another so question. I, I would be really disappointed at, after the x variants if you know something that's basically the, the same thing but with a different name did not so, yeah but 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 that's the thing though that's the thing though the x uh rexes or ankies or some shit like that when you tamed them when they were tamed there were no difference in the stats in they the, had it, potentially it, an extra um it, was it 12 levels or yeah i think it was something like that um but but that's the only difference though that was the, the levels were awesome, i don't yeah. know if that was a bug back in the back in the early days of genesis i haven't kept up with it um, but there's no yeah. point about lying about that but yeah. if 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 it weren't a bug and it's still a thing then why the f even bother with the what did you call them y creatures now that's what they're hinting at yeah y creature variant biome specific variants but again i mean I, I liked the differences in the colors i always like seeing different colors and they have different color regions on them so that was the main reason for me grabbing them i love them uh, sabers that we we got oh them. yeah I, oh, they I lost. Was gorgeous still have them though james them. still have them oh, don't wind me up my fridge died <laughs> oh no <laughs> it looks like two fridges with X creatures in it. It was horrible, and here I am crying over it because I'm definitely not laughing. Um, but yeah, no, that was you lost I've your still, two turtles too. I did. I've but I found I found my spino. Um, oh, the 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 one we got uh, right when we started playing as well. Oh but, right, um, yeah. Yeah, just some just some new colors on the creatures, uh, biome specific. Okay, the uh, remote camera security system. That's something that we saw at the end of the trailer. What looked like the uh, Noglin took it out. And perhaps a little bit more of ex an expansion of what we had in Extinction. Being able to use these cameras to go into different zones. Perhaps hunt down d uh, different creatures, you know, and uh, find potential tames, perhaps. Mm hmm now, like, this is one thing that I, I did read it, like, the tiny little bit of, that was put onto uh, the wiki was that you can actually remotely interact with structures and creatures with them, not just observe them. So okay. I'm kind of curious the level of interaction that's available. Be able to interact with creatures as well. Okay. I know that it looked like the, the Noglin. In fact, I'm going to move on to the, I'm going to move on to the Noglin. And uh, what we were all thinking about what it possibly could be. But uh, this little guy is going to have the ability to telepathically take over your tamed creature. I mean, that is a game right, changer but, there. But, I mean, I have multiple questions. If yeah. it's telepathic, that kind of explains the antennas, you know, because it has four antennas and apparently they're glowing. On top of that, what's the point with the i mean quacking point with that tongue because that's not telepathic if it has to put if it has to make you you know a wet willy that's not no that's not how it works <laughs> and secondly or thirdly i don't know i lost count why does it have such a big mouth i still think it's a wandering trash can you're not you're not happy with the noglin oh no no i love it i mean it, but in the trailer it looked like that was rockwell's eye it took out that camera and all the, well the, the other thing was the um the camera was like you were saying it was bringing up details about the creature i saw that in the in the bottom right hand corner of um the trailer but it looked like the noggling clear came out from the rockwell tentacle so it's possibly a creature that is in that zone so this could be a a really really tough little creature right so Basically, I'm sorry for interrupting here, Shes, 
but um, what we're looking at here is a potential new Ferox because that little quacker was only in that bear cave or it was in the, 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 the snowstorm area in the snow biome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was like two hard biomes to get to unless you were choosing the system. Um, so, uh, so if that little fella is in the Rockwell biome, mm -hmm. then you know that's you know it's basically just going to be another Ferox. Well, I, they haven't said anything about it being able to mutate or be a rideable mount. No, 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 that's not what I mean. But the fact that mm -hmm. you know they they adapted that difficulty of taming because it was an easy tame once you got to it yeah. per se if you have well, like movement Before speed they nerfed it. yeah well also just the fact that as soon as you fed an element it was charge your ass but yeah. i don't know it's gonna be interesting though still think it's a trash can i think you'll be able to feed it like things imagine you mm -hmm. have a dino you don't want anymore and then you just shove that dino in a cryoball and shove it in his face and <laughs> treat it like a gone. gotcha <laughs> yeah <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, I think that is potentially how you could be taming it by feeding it other tame creatures. Oh, really? Oh yeah. my goodness! Like a a more adorable Trudon. Oh god, I, I hate it already. That explains the glowing <laughs> eyes and little. <laughs> I mean, Quacker. <laughs> god damn. See, I, I'm. I'm just. A, I'm, I'm in love with it. It's adorable and. Thank you, Sin. Now I just can't get it out of my head that it might be a, some kind of a shoulder pet, and it's got that giant tongue that might just reach over and like stick itself in your ear. <laughs> that that's not I mean, getting out of my head anytime soon. <laughs> well, 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 you're you're welcome. Does that mean I don't have to pull your hair anymore? No, you're not off the hook. Oh dear. Ammo crates laying throughout the world, potentially different different uh, loot drops here. Ammo boxes out in the in the um biome specifically. So would they be respawning or what are we Don't, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what to make on this one. So I actually have an answer on this one. Again, just okay. like it was a snip quick snippet from the wiki, but yeah. it, it seems like an automated way to make sure that your turrets stay stocked. Um, like it's not so much a, like from what I can glean, not so much like a random drop of ammo so much as like you put this ammo box down in range of your turrets and ah. fill it up with ammunition and it keeps your turrets in a range stock resupply. Okay. Okay. So I could be off base with that, but that, that was what I gleaned from no, a little bit of thanks, it. Thanks for shining a light on that one. So a way to restock potentially what the player's using as well, if you're in radius is it as well, potentially. So like I can see where this has massive, massive impact for the our PvP um players. Yeah. Like yeah. huge. Along with the healing gun, a resupply gun as well. Um mm -hmm. resupply box. So yeah. The hover sale are gonna be a quick way to get around the, the biome here and you can see that there's actually two players at the end there, one with what looks like the tech pistol and uh, somebody else sailing it. This is gonna be something that you can actually bring out from your inventory. We'll we'll all be able to walk around being like, yo, this is so red, man. <laughs> That's We're all, all surfers now. Yeah, potentially. Surf, surf, surf's up, yo. Yeah, potentially. Uh, so, a little bit of fun to be had with this one. Definitely. There was a really fun note on this one that um, apparently you can do tricks on it and it increases its speed. So we're absolutely surfers. We're going to be doing some surfing competitions and stuff on the server. So Heck yes. <laughs> surf, surf's up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be spawning in angry, uh, angry um, what's it called, space dolphins <laughs> to chase us around. <laughs> then again, that wouldn't really work because they'll be too damn cute. Well, it does look like at the end shot there, the player's got the little tiny tech pistol you know, that's crouched down at the front. But uh, I'll be interested to see how this one, this one works. Also, they put out the canoe. Um, yeah. You're liking the canoe? Yes. Like, I will be singing right around a river bend all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited for something other than a raft when it comes to, like, beginning aquatic adventures. Like, yeah. especially if it's going to be quicker. Um, 
like it looks like there's room for multiple people on it so yeah. like this i i'm excited to see how this works out and how how early game we can unlock this I'm, um, I'm thinking it might be like the early game unlock there was always there's always one isn't there with with a new thing there's like the aberration had the fishing traps mm -hmm. um genesis actually had the fishing nets mm -hmm. but i didn't really use them did you guys ever really use the fishing net much a, oh yeah you know, yeah I, I had to do the uh to do the fishing missions there are horrible the well the, the fishing mission that was on the ice crate wasn't it but that was with the fishing rod but not with the actual well that you had to toss the, out the one in the bog that was with the fishing net oh and it was right cancerous i'm sorry it was literally the worst shit ever created because you had to you had to catch the uh trout the salmon things but mm -hmm. as soon as a piranha touched your net it'll just go poof and you can start all over again Oh, oh no, thank you. It, exactly, it was. Oh, I am not Honestly, angry just talking it about it. I just went on to the ice fishing mission. Um, yeah. I never actually did the one in the the bog biome actually, so I didn't realize that was with a net. I thought that was with the same the same idea. So the canoe, but yeah. Um, obviously, you won't be able to build on it like the raft, but yeah, looking looking fun and looking like you can I have mean, a, a few people steering it here. I just want to point out, you're talking to someone who has a hovering platform on the island right now. I will build on it, and it will be my base. <laughs> build and on, I will be singing build right around the, the river bend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so there's one more creature uh, we've got to talk about, the uh, strider with the harvest, harvesting attachment. So different attachments um, clipping onto this strider. We saw this in the trailer as well. So this was the other creature reveal that we got. Um, what are you feeling here? Vaporizer. I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling Horizon Zero Dawn here yes. with the <laughs> type of look that it's gone for. But a new way to gather resources. If you look back at the trailer, you can see one shooting trees, one is shooting rocks, mm -hmm. and they, 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 yeah, they get vaporized. So see a new way to uh, gather resources here i like i mean the size of it and everything it makes me wonder like is it going to have the carrying capacity but mobility hampering of like the parasers or the brontos but i agree with you definite horizon zero dawn mm. vibes on that but the I mean, thing is, is it, yeah sorry go for it james and it, well uh, just uh, shaz mentioned there that um that obviously the uh mining drill took reduced weight you know potentially being quite slow at going across the, across the world but this could also have the the reduced weight thing true as well going on with it true are we going to be able to haul things mm. more easily but the thing is if you look at the physical build on it it's built for speed it does look like it's built for speed yeah mm. like strong hind legs you know the, the um, sleek aerodynamic body yeah exactly um, so then again, you know, we have the whole Argus build for PVP yeah. and right. if, if that one is in PVP, then it's either going to be weak as shit or it's going to be OP as shit. There's no in between. Well, I mean, if we're going with, with the story and we're all on a federation, it, it, you know, it would be more making more sense to be making Arc Genesis 2 more PVE. I know it might be controversial to say, but if we're all part of a federation, it would be making more sense if we were all trying to stop Rockwell. But, True. You know, that's, um, I don't know, they're my thoughts on it, but you are right. They always do gear the, towards the PvP player mm -hmm. in, in the expansions. I'm looking it's, forward uh, to more info on this. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it is early days. I mean, this time last year when the um, Extra Life event was on, we was more closer to the release of Arc. It was supposed to be coming out in January. We actually got footage of in-game play. Mm -hmm. This time around, we're, it's, it is quite a long way off. Potentially, it's going to be delayed further. It'd be understandable as well with everything that's gone on in the world. So I could understand if it did get delayed till the summer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just, I'd just be more happy if, if they get it right. But... Uh, yeah, but I'm sorry for interrupting. But but yeah, the I mean the thing they did with Genesis, where they they pushed it once and they semi pushed it twice, 
then they finally released it and it was still filled with bugs and it wasn't yeah. balanced it wasn't it seemed like it was just pure coding put together it looks pretty on paper haven't tested it go it was broken yeah um, so i feel like if if they've learned from that we'll be golden i mean yeah. you yeah well you can quack that over learned from the, That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I would say Aberration was probably the most optimized um, one before before release. Um, Extinction was terrible as well on on release with balancing. I mean, the uh, it's like the the new Bloodstalker couldn't wait to get that, and then it's you know how many hundreds of blood bags did that take to try and tame that? Oh. <sighs> My first one, I think, I was looking at the screenshots the other day. I think it was close to 200. It, that was just ridiculous. And then I was making med brews, trying to heal myself. And I was like, hey, I've got, I've got, you know, 50 odd blood bags d- together. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you, yeah, it's taken me all day. And uh, yeah, you're not even halfway there. And I, I think they may have increased it. Um, so that is an issue that they do. They, they, they can put stuff out and uh, it, it can be quite unbalanced and untested mm-hmm. um so i i would much rather wait um for them to to get it right i mean um the same thing i mean if we look at uh, what's just happened with wow they've made a big announcement to say that they're going to delay it and the community is is fine with that they're they're all fine with that they played the beta and they've gone back and they've said we're, we're just going to need a little bit more time before we put the next one out and i'm sure that um that's the correct move to do i know like um it, it's going to sound really I, I guess really mean on my part, but um, a lot of us paid for the season pass for Genesis. So wildcard already has our money. Yeah. They already know that we're waiting on this. It's not like they need to rush and push this out for an, an additional cash grab because most of us already have this. Yeah. So hopefully maybe not feeling like they need another cash grab will encourage them to put it out properly. I, I hope so too. I hope so too. The um, I mean, if we've got nothing else to say about this one, I've got one one more to one more image to pull up, which is is quite an interesting one. I mean, I, I I still have things on the tech suit because mm-hmm. okay. we're yep. we're starting with it, right? Yeah, and great dandy and all that. There's no problem mechanical wise, like game mechanical wise, on how that will work. But where do we get the fuel? Good question. Good question. I mean, I think they think a lot of uh, Genesis One, you know, will be people who've ascended coming across to play with this stuff. But when you look at the Steam achievements, when you look at the amount of people that have actually got the ascension, we're looking at five percent of the player base here yeah. have actually managed to complete or ascend a map. Um, so um, when it comes to boss fights and having taxes, is something that many many players have not really experienced in in the game. I can't find they they get to about level ninety, and um, the boss fights is not something that the 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 part of the game that they're into. So they're definitely going strong in with everybody having tech suits. I believe we're going to be able to fly around with these if they're powered by element. I don't know these these federation versions. I mean, it kind of I brings mean, up the, that how easy. Oh, I'm sorry, Sen. No, go for it. it. It brings up how easy it is to get element now compared to before. On the island, you had to do the boss fights. On Scorch, you had to do the boss fights. Aberration, mm-hmm. all the same. And um, extinction, extinction comes around, and you can now turn element dust into actual usable elements. You can do those veins uh, or the yeah. element node events, um, and then you know you can Genesis. Get a gotcha creature, can't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can get a gotcha to pump out element dust as fast as you can feed it. Um, Genesis, you can literally go mine it now. Um, and Crystal Isles, the same. You can go mine it on Crystal Isles. So perhaps they're going with how many ways there are to acquire element in the wild without, like, literally only just having to have a pick and the ability to travel to a location where you can mine it, as well, all of our players have access to the ability to power it if they take the time to do so. Yeah. Um, but I, mean, I, I was just saying, like, I, like the idea of an alternative fuel as well. Like, like Sin brought up, like, what are we, what are we powering with it? Mm-hmm. Um, since it's a, a, you know, a Federation tech suit, it's it's different. Maybe there is a different power for it. Well, yeah. that's that's the thing, though. That's what I was thinking because 
well, first off, I want to what I want to point out or add to to what you said about how we're collecting element now. They just increased element drop from bosses a hundred percent on the island. Mm-hmm. So In- for for doing the alpha uh, alpha dragon, you're getting four hundred and forty or some shit now. Like well, that's, that's, I'm, I'm okay with that. That is insane numbers, right? 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 But my okay, point yeah, is, yeah. why? We've yeah. had we've had these boss fights for so many years now. Yeah. Why? Why now? Because it's either because okay, so they're making it so people from the island from any other map can now transfer over to the Genesis maps. Use the element that we've required there, because now people are going to farm the bosses like there's no to quacking tomorrow, and that's just a fact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On top of that, we are on a spaceship that's controlled by Rockwell. With you know, um, element uh, corrupted biomes like there's no tomorrow and all that. Why not have special concentrated areas that you know has enough um, pollution, element pollution, that the tech can actually recharge, like the tech suit can actually recharge itself there. Mm. So when you yeah, run through this idea. area, you know, you'll slowly regen the, the power batteries or some shit and then have something like um, like a scooper duration on it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that idea, though. I do. But um, I did not look at the patch notes. I didn't realize that they would have increased uh, the element by 100%. Yeah, I've not looked at that. That's, um, that's pretty amazing. Right. Yeah, Sin, Sin asked why. Like, why are we... Mm um increasing it now and like it it kind of raises the is it because in preparation for this in preparation for how much element we're going to need on this map or is it just from like player feedback of we would like more reward for these boss fights or boss fights don't feel as rewarding now um especially with how easily you can get it in the wild so i can see it going two ways like we may need a lot or it's just wild cards answer to people who to keeping the boss fights relevant yeah, that could be it too. Yeah, but then again, you know, that's going to give him what a month, and they don't they don't need that month right now because they just announced more things for Genesis yeah. uh, Genesis Part Two, and people want that Part Two. Like mm-hmm. they are thirsty, <laughs> and it's yeah. not for Element, so that's not the reason. You know, it's not like they're trying to buy more time for them. It's there has to be something else. Well, I must admit that before seeing the trailer, I wasn't that hyped because I wasn't as excited by Genesis Part 1. But after that, after hearing David Tennant, seeing Rockwell, what what's there, and I know it's a, a lot of um, full motion video there, but I am, I am much more hyped now after seeing this. And the music as well to that trailer, the arc music at the end, it was like a final, you know, score that they'd put on at the end with the arc twist i really enjoyed that so i'm much more hyped about it now yeah that trailer put put me over the moon um i was very skeptical but i completely agree with you there well i mean that's that's the thing though arc has never made a bad trailer i i still remember the original trailer for arc the part where the rex you know just destroys the gate and be like i'm gonna eat you face where it blasts through the gates yeah uh, in in the little lost river there yeah yeah with people with the bows they don't they never do disappoint on that stuff you're right no so so i mean hmm. i mean um, yeah sure i like the trailer but i'm just so looking forward for the actual content yeah i oh, me too i'm more more hype now than ever um to see it so there was one more concept art that we got. Of course, we've been using this stuff for quite a while now, but console players and the rest of them, they're finally getting a hatchery. So the egg incubator. Now, apparently this device is going to be able to tell the level of an egg uh, before you crack it open. I, know, I don't know whether it's going to be able to grab eggs automatically as they go, but the, the egg incubator, what, what are you thinking about this? I think it's going to be amazing for console players and official players to have something like we have um, on our unofficial maps with our superstructures and structures plus hatcheries. If like, like you said, if it actually picks it up or not will be the thing, but still being able to incubate it and not have to worry about hovering over an egg or timing everything. 
I don't know how I feel about being able to analyze the stats and colors before they're born. Um, but mm. I, that that's me. Like, again, I come from playing on unofficial servers where like we have things that collect unfertilized eggs for us. So, so having to worry about struggling for enough kibble isn't a problem for me, I guess. So coming from a place of privilege with my kibble production. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so I'm fact, I mean, on that. A daily routine for me at the moment, because I'm building up my boss, boss Rex is, is um, my base is completely covered in dead babies. Um, and I've got the euthanasia gun yeah. going off. <laughs> you have, you have to quack yourself out for that one, mate. You can't just say that to people. <laughs> hello well it's this the is, truth uh, it's the truth uh, hello welcome to complete games with me james and i'm a baby dino <laughs> killer I, do, you know what? do you know what i did an episode and i kicked off and the beach was just full of dead allosauruses and people were like in the comments they were like what the hell's happened like yeah <laughs> I, I, <laughs> just I, dead remember, dinosaurs I remember i was just sitting there going damn that's gonna be interesting <laughs> like i so can't see the utility that. like how often do our tribe blogs get clogged with all of the culling so i can oh, see this God, being nice yes. to preserve our, our tribe blogs to actually yeah. see like events that may be actually relevant so well, i'm not i'm not mentioning names on our server achilles but I was about to say, yeah, I, can, I can do that. <laughs> literally, <laughs> like when it happens, like all of the fish just rise out of the ocean and pretty much the game comes to a standstill. <laughs> so there is the potential to stop that. But um, I mean, for, but, I mean, basically, finally, console players are getting what we've, we've had in concept for a long time. But it, it looks really cool, though, doesn't it? The incubator it looks much better than the... Um, um, than the, the hatchery that we've got with the dodo flapping mm -hmm. its wings. This looks. It, well, it I like I like the dodo though. Do you? Of yeah. course you do. <laughs> I mean, it's going to change everything, isn't it? You know, s s. Uh, well, I mean, Plus, that's it? that's know? the thing though. The, the the original, the the first mod with an incubator in it, that was mm -hmm. something along the lines with that one there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So. So. A big question I have is how is this powered and how is this unlocked? Is this powered by tech or electricity? Mm -hmm. Is it a tech gram? How far do you have to progress to access this? Yeah. And I mean, of course, we've also got the mammals as well. This is for the eggs. I mean, how the mammals are going to be um, done and uh, sea creatures and other ways of being able to incubate doesn't yeah. include that but just for the eggs itself mammal breeding is just always going to be one of those headaches and struggles staring at butts waiting for things to be caught i'm still pretty i'm still pretty pleased that this one's being added so i do there is one thing that's in the wiki that i don't see you have a picture of and that's the tech crop plot tech crop plot okay okay I'll, uh, I'll try and pull it is there an image on wiki for that there is let me okay. send it to you in a discord dm there okay, so the tech crop plot, I had uh, missed this one out. Shez, um, you've, I've, this is new to me. I haven't, what's, what's the info on this one? This is new. So this was on the um, Gamepedia wiki. Um, and it says it basically, they grow more quickly. They have a larger storage capacity. I, I'm curious, you know, us that have Superstructure, Structures Plus and the um, seamless crop plots, like how it's going to compare to those, or if it's going to be something kind of along the lines of the speed and capacity of of those. But it, it I, I like the look of it. I like the idea of it. And if it's got a stronger durability for people who like to use, like it, like what's in here, the species X plants for defense, yeah. um, it like. It almost looks. I don't. I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but um, along the sides, does that seem like a p potential irrigation system for it? Um, does the grow lights mean that we can use it in caves or in areas that we usually wouldn't get greenhouse effect? One hundred percent. Yeah. Does it increase greenhouse effect as, as well? well as well to say, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if if you had this in a normal greenhouse. You know, where you get three hundred percent, would you be able to get it up to five hundred percent? Because, you know, increased uh, growth speed and, and all that shit. So 
Um, and that would and definitely increase, increase yields as well from what's being grown. Like for those of us, like I know sometimes I like we like to start in a cave. There's some of us like to, to live in the caves, especially PVP seems to really prefer caves and er areas that are easily to easy to defend. Is this a way to more efficiently grow without having to have natural light and the sun actually shining down into your greenhouse? Interesting. I'd uh, I'd completely miss that one, but um, the tech crop parts. But I know that you do some wonderful gardens and stuff on your builds. You very much concentrate on the builds. Um, so yeah, like you were saying, how this is going to integrate with the seamless crop parts that you're doing there. It could be a kiss goodbye to that in favor of you know some tech crop parts. It could be. I, I am a big fan of a good garden. But then they've got the uh, the species X or. Y seed or whatever that is in there for base defense as well. I was about to say that's again for the PvP aspect in the yeah. game. So yeah. that that means that it's definitely considered a large size crop plot if you can plant a species mm. plant in it. Yeah. 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 So you know one thing that I, I was thinking of when we were looking at the space station, um, that it like occurred to me after we'd moved on from it. The map for that is how do you have a flat map of an area that we potentially have like a 3d roam of like that, you know, it's not just like, Oh, there's air and there's towers. It's literally like the coordinates could be like, how did, how is that going to work for, for mapping? And so in this concept art shot, you can see how the world is curving slightly mm -hmm. up. What was it that you just mentioned there, Shaz? I was just um, kind of like the thought of how is mapping going to work and how is gravity going to work? Is that um, turning and moving or is it static? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, but on this oh. concept art as well, I can see there is a slight incline going up there. I mean, right now we're basically talking some flat earth shit here. Because that structure yeah. we're looking at is so big that if you're zooming in to the amount that we were you right there, you wouldn't be able yeah. to see any curve at all. Yeah, it's going to be a big map, isn't it? Uh huh. And we're going to be able to go right round in a circle by the looks of it. That would be potentially. Excuse my French, but that would be amazing if we could, like just the mechanic itself, because that would implement that you'd be able to go straight up and straight down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that again would. with the dolphin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That perhaps that bit of space in between would mean that there isn't potentially a barrier. If you look up, maybe you're well, you're going to be able to see the top, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And then using the devil, the the if it, if it's going to be the giant, the biggest map we're ever speaking about, about then this astro dolphin. You know, perhaps if we're, you know, on the bottom of the map, you want to get, you can cut your journey in half, and then it would, it that then that that's a completely different mechanic, isn't it? Really, because there's always been that ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, that's a good point, Shaz. Now you've got me really thinking. I can't wait to have a look up and see what's above us when we actually get into this map now. Yes. <laughs> but let me just find the bit that we're talking that I was thinking about. Right. Okay. We want to hear David Tennant, though. No, I'm just joking. Real <laughs> we do. Look at to the right hand side. Have you guys got this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if you look to the, the right hand side here, you can see that this is the actual camera. And as we go on a few frames, we can see that there's a little box in the side giving us some information. As you can see that, and then it's gone red, it. trying to scan it, and then yeah. the creature eats the camera. So it definitely confirms like Sin's garbage can theory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Potentially ta having to tame um, other creatures and give it creatures of tame. It looks like the uh, this is the central city with some sort of ocean underneath it. Um, and we've got various sort of creatures, tech creatures here. They don't look like... They're uh, just enforcers. mechs. No, that's what they I'm thinking. Like mechs. Yeah, they're literally just mechs that's made uh, uh um well robots autonomous whatever because if you look a bit further along like if you go like i don't know 10 seconds forwards um you can see brontos 
So that pathway yeah. down there where they're walking, compare the size to that Bronto where, you know, that pathway oh. there. So the size would be fitting for a mech. That is. I mean, it has given you an idea of the scale of what this place is if I put in the Bronto on that platform, though. That is. Now, I'll, uh, I'll freeze frame it here because we'll see what one of the rings is like. And what I got from it um, was I could see what looked like a purple outline. Now, if we just have a look here. There. Yeah. As you can see, that ring at the top, you can see more of a purple side. Yeah. So this is the ring that we're on. Um, and I guess that's what we're going to see when we look up at the sky. Ugh, the new stagger is there. In the bottom left corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just say it. Yeah, yeah. You're not a fan of the stegos? No, nah, it's just uh, a copy of the Kensosaurus. My uh, first experience with the new stego was getting impaled. So, uh, so far, I'm <laughs> I'm not a fan. <laughs> Um, but I, it, no, never mind. it's interesting. It's interesting, but I, I really wasn't. But I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just got salty. a new mechanic. I mean, I went in and attacked one with um, with my wyvern, and it had the ability to be able to dismount you. Um, so, you know, potentially with the TLC update, um, it's uh, the trike has always trumped it. I sort of think once you get into your late thirties, do you really want to bother with the tax? The, the, the stego saddle i don't know it's always one that i've never really bothered with um but then again growing up as a kid the stego was always you know one of my favorites it's never really been i don't think this changes it but it's got um this new defense mechanism um well see that's the thing though because those theories were already out when i was a kid and i mean i'm i'm only 20 21 you know so <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no i mean i remember when i was like that was p before school so i was probably about four or five years old i was i i, I got this dinosaur book so obviously i was reading now i was i was looking at pictures um but but the stegos like had had two pictures of it where one of them it the le like the leaves or whatever we want to call them were like laid down on the side to protect it and as i yeah. you know as i grew up i still have that book and my kids have ruined it because well i mean the fucking monsters um <laughs> they they destroy everything don't they? yeah <laughs> goddamn devil's spring but um <laughs> so uh but yeah no obviously i was reading it through when i when i learned how to read and it, it literally said that there was theories about how there could have been possible uh venom in, in the in the in the um in the plates yeah um as a self uh, as a form of uh, self-defense and i mean if we're looking at the well frogs nowadays you know there's poisonous frogs that literally makes venom as they go along yeah well i know uh sorry Chaz, you go on let's see like we're kind of venturing into one of my personal um like things that i geek out over which is reptiles and um, there's snakes, um, a killback snake that secretes uh, venom through its scales. Um, not, not really a venom, but a poison through its scales. So, like, it absolutely wouldn't be unusual to think that, you know, they've got something that is, whether it coats it or, or whatever. Um, I'd be curious to see some of, like, the fossil evidence. Like, is there evidence, like that they're pulling from from that where maybe there's um divots in their bone structure that could be room for venom glands to, to be along their spine along those bony protrusions well i i know that when i originally when jurassic park came out um when i went to see it i know as a kid my favorite two of my favorite well three of my favorite dinosaurs were the trike the stego and the spinosaurus and the stego and the, and the spino were missing from them first two films so i was very excited when the third one came out that they they added the, the 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 spino and the stego it's not the most popular of the films but um i always remember he sort of says it dr sadly he says that oh the the um the velociraptor was always my favorite as a child and um oh no it wasn't it was the bronto he said that wasn't it but uh, that was all new to me but they'd kind of missed out they'd missed out the stego and they'd missed out the spino out of uh, jurassic park 
And of course, Ark's come a long way since it was a, a dinosaur game. But um, I don't think I'm going to be taming many Stegos. I don't think it's changed my mind about the new buffs that they've got. No, because yeah. how are you going to apply that in PV in a useful, like, any way, really? That's, that's just not a waste of time, really. Are you going to be playing it in PvP mm. as well? Yeah. I mean, yeah, as PvE yeah. players, like we have a different perspective on yeah. Dino Utility. But then again, as PvP players, are you really going to be using them as well? That's you know, that's the other thing. Oh, I, I mean, has got the P- PvP is uh, is heavy on, on the Stego. Was I don't know how this has changed it though, but I suppose yeah, you've got the armor plating and the potential to be able to swing your tail and dismount another player off of there. You know, perhaps knock them off their Rex or something, and having this heavy heavy armor. And then it immediately da- drains the stamina as well. Yeah. Um, when you get dismounted, you've 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 completely drained your stamina. So it is a it is more of a PvP move that they've gone for with this Stego update, isn't it? For sure. Like I can't see myself using them beyond what I usually use them for, and it's just like a basically a, a berry gatherer before I bother with a Bronto. I don't even use them. I, I it still doesn't trump the the uh, trike for me. I mean, berry. you know me, James. I go straight for the Giga. <laughs> for berries, you yeah, do, you go. You know, you. I mean, you go for straight for the giga every time, anytime yeah. you can. Um, v- vegan gigas are best gigas, mate, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you are the the giga master. I'll give you that. Um, no one builds a giga better than uh, than <laughs> Sin does. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, you see some screenshots of the amount of damage. I'm like, oh crikey, is that how much the tech the tech suit does? Like the uh, the that um, tech- <laughs> no mate, that's my giga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, um, I'll continue going through it. Here's um, you can see the footprints of the Seeker. shadow main here going Seekers off. Seekers and in- Global. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it as it jumps across and reveals itself, mm. but again, the Wait. males are not going to be able to. Co- the The male is not going to be capable of being able to cloak itself. The female is, and um, as we were talking about it earlier in the Discord, uh, I was like, there, there, there's only the um, the deer that basically has a difference between the male and female, isn't it? In the actual game, that's the only creature I can think where there's a difference between the male and the female. Mm-hmm. They always go for the male. Um, what are they called? Megalo? Some Megaloceros. Yeah. Megaloceroses. Yeah, the Megaloceroses have a difference um, between between them. So the male version of this is going to be bigger and has a bigger mane on its on its neck, but is unable to cloak itself. The female is. So I'm just kind of curious because this one in the trailer came out of cloak and then you know did this this roar. So. False advertisement, or the fact that we live in 2020. It could be both. I mean, I, I'm not going to assume that one's gender, because it did both. I'm like, you do you, Tiger. You do you. Well, it's... It, it, well, I don't know. also like to do this, but I'm quite confident that this one's the female, unless there's a ma- uh, unless it's the male with a female giving its buff. But because it's cloaked, it should be the It should, it should be, the be female. a female. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the male can have that ability, but the female needs to be close by in order to be able to give them both the buff. So they're they're a pack animal. We're definitely going to be able to travel around on these, um, and you're going to need the, both the male and the female to get the full benefit of what these creatures can do. And if you ask me, I think they're the most exciting creature that I've they've, they've revealed so far. I can't wait to get my hands on this. Yeah, I'm excited to well, see replace my love for a, a nice good wolf pack. Hmm. Or even the Philo core, if it, if I it mean, managed to trump that for me. No, 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 but guys, you, you, you're focusing on the kitty cat. Yeah. And I would make Always. a joke here, but I'm not going to. But <laughs> you need to look, look, look at the volume. Go back a bit, James. Look at the volume. Yep. yep. Uh, I hope them, them insects are not insect swarms. No, but look down in the crack, you know, and all that. Yeah. Like, yeah. all that down there, to me, that looks like it's. I wouldn't say poisonous gas, but it's definitely not healthy for you. And if yeah. you if you move on a bit more, I mean, yeah, look at the look at the vine thingies. Yeah. Well, and the fucking lightning, like everything in that biome is gonna be not it's very gonna be, nice to you. 
Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's screaming. Like that over here up on on the left, it looks like you've got some potential for like uh, spores, like an aberration. It looks like there's an element fall. Yep. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful biome, but more than likely extremely dangerous. I'm uh -huh. sure. Yeah. Um, Plus, I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't really want a wolf pack in a terrain like that. They would get yeah. stuck on everything. How are they going to be able to tra traverse? You know, this this things their abilities yet. Yeah. Oh right, it's, no, no, no. Um, I meant I meant the wolf pack, like um, the the regular wolf. Like, oh yeah, that that thing there. Will, you know, it's it's meant to to be able to, to be be, in that yeah. So you've got all these like potential environmental hazards, plus the thought that there's these cloaked creatures. Um, are we going to see that cloak? Like that was one of the things I was so terrified of the first time I went to Aberration. Um, they're like, oh yeah, there's these rock drakes, but they're invisible. I'm just like, this sounds horrifying. I could just be walking along and this invisible creature come out and ruin my day. But then like, you know that there's an invisible rock drake from a mile away because of their stomping. So oh, like yeah. how, how stealthy, like, I mean, you've got the stealth, you know, that, that shimmer of a cloak, but how stealthy are they actually? Are we going to hear the, the footfalls and their claws coming? Good point. They're um, definitely going to be having reason to be hunting in packs. So the chances of being able to go up against one. But yeah, I can see like it's fish-like scales as well there as underneath it as well as we see in its tail. It does. It's got some very fish sail shape. features on it as well. Maybe there's going to be like a water biome. And Could be this. Well, I mean... To be fair, though, uh, what's he called? The bad guy, Rockwell. Thank you Rockwell. guys for so much for actually telling me that. Um, yeah. no, so in in the trailer, uh, Rockwell says that, as far as I can understand, it might be just you know my English is here, but quack. Um, but uh, but he's he's saying something about how he's manipulating the evolution. So yeah. you know you're looking at a cat body. But then you have a fish, and you have a parrot, and you have some alien shit in there too, and a cat, and a roar, and another cat. I mean, we yeah. all know cats perfect creatures, but that was a that's a kitty joke, by the way. Anyways, potentially being able to swim under the water with these things. So what you're saying, Sid, be able is... to go in more biomes than that, just that one. Yeah. So maybe you know it can go into water, be fast swimming. Mm -hmm. And all that because it looks like it have a, it's having a, a broad tail. Yeah, increased sm swimming speed, gill, uh, mm -hmm. gills, whatever they're called mm -hmm. in English. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a water biome per se in this map, but well, it looks like there's waterfalls all coming down here. It looks like there is water amongst all of that underneath there in the crack there. I don't know, man. Um, that looks like poisonous water, like on abrasion. Yeah, that. Yeah. But is it the hue from the fog down there, or is it actually like a, like the element water? Yeah, I'm really nervous about the lightning now because holy shit, that is yeah. having a party. It is this zone with all of the eyes here looking at you. I mean, it's definitely Rockwell, isn't it? But uh... I mean, if that thing there is Rockwell, I am done. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> one of his tentacles. Hmm. <laughs> At least we'll have the bartender from the passenger ship to have us company then. And I'm really, really <laughs> enjoying that. That was a great movie, by the way. Shout out to Bartender Guy Robot. Do you know, the thing is, I haven't even seen it since, so I'm going to go away and watch it. I can't. I, I was thinking Interstellar. Yeah, when, no. At the end of Interstellar, when he wakes up and he sees his daughter and it's just this big round ship. You know, that was the vibe that I was getting there. I mean, we're probably going to get off topic here, but... Hmm. That was just, uh, the way I see that end in Interstellar is they've taken the surface of the Earth and then just curled it together like a tube. Mm -hmm. Well, a really massive thank you to both of you guys for coming on and just having a talk with me about all of the Genesis 2 news. Um, I'm going to shout out to Shez. If Twitch is your thing, I'm going to put a link to her channel down below and uh, she'll be happy to talk about her thoughts as well on stream and uh, always doing lots of 
building and uh, always looking at interesting mods as well. So go and check uh, Shaz out and uh, thank you both uh, for joining us on that one. Um, thank you for having me. No, anytime. It's good fun. Good fun discussing lots of ideas. You got me thinking about all do- sorts of different things. And uh, and uh, thanks very much, Sin, for popping in and helping me out with this one. Um, really, really good. Anytime. Yeah. Uh, but yep, yeah, that's all the time we've got for news on Genesis 2. But thank you very much. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.